Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in this video we're going to be looking at the basics. What are the basics? <laughs> I could remember when I started my, my career in software development, one of the first languages I learned was HTML. And what is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. This is um, a document that the, the browser understands and it's able to interpret, you know, the text you have within it, the, the image, the, the, the audio, the video, and, you know, interpret it into a visual representation. So as you can see right in front of me, welcome to, to Code with Femi. This is actually um, a, a visual representation, but there is actually a language that allowed us to be able to create this actual page that you can see. And the language is called HTML. This is actually the backbone of any web page you see out there. Without HTML, you can't have a web page. Take that from me. <laughs> and for those of you who missed my last video, um, I, I encourage you to grab this link from my, my, my previous video and just go to this link so we can be on the same page so we can also inspect it together and see what it looks like. So you, you might be asking me like, so where is the HTML that makes up all this visual representation? What you can do is you can right click. So if you're using Chrome, right click and actually click on inspect. And for those of you using other browsers that couldn't, that cannot find ins inspect within their, their own option, you can also use F12. F12, the key F12 on your keyboard should be able to open up the actual document. So I'll click on inspect. And what you can see here is what? HTML. <laughs> HTML. This is what makes the actual page that you're looking at. And if I, you know, make this a little bit smaller and then um, let's just open up a section within it, we, section within it, within it, which is actually the body sec section. Um, you can see right there that there, there are some, as I'm, as I'm over and over this different elements, it's showing me, you know, what sections I am on. As you can see, you can see. So this is, uh, this is, this is all HTML and HTML actually has different you know, it has, it has its own structure. You just, you know, just like, just like us human, we've got our head, we've got our hands, we've got, you know, we've got our body and our legs like that, you know, HTML has also has different, you know, has its own different parts. So, and as you can see right in front of me, it has a, a head, a head section. So the head section is where you put in um, certain information that can be used by the the actual web page and you might be asking me what kind of information so you've got here like some meta metadata meta information this actually tells your 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 page how it should render based on what device it's on and also in cases where you're doing um you want to you want to make your your what's it called your text pretty and nice with these different colors you can actually you know tell it to to reference another file in another location using you know these different um different elements but i'm not gonna go deep into this i just want to keep this as simple as possible and but this is just the edge section, but the edge section, the most core important part of it is the title. The title you see here is what you see there. Create next app. So if I actually come in here and say code with, with Femi, what happens? It changes. Magic. <laughs> you know, it changes because that is how you actually structure your web page and actually give it some sort of look and feel based on how you want it to, you know, to, to be presented to your end users, to, to whoever is going to use your web page. And also let's collapse this. So like I said, this is actually one of the important um, elements within your head that you need to always um, make sure you set. And you have the body section. The body section contains 
all those things you see here. So everything you see in here is within the body section. And you might be wondering like, okay, how is that possible? Okay, let me show you. If I say, so I'm gonna just, I'm just clicking on this element and I'm gonna click on delete. And like as you can see, it's all gone. It's all gone, it's all gone. Oh no, my elements are gone. Like my, my son would say, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but yeah, you can see it's all blank now. And what we have here, so I'm just gonna also clean this up. Let's clean this up, let's clean this up, let's clean this up. Clean, 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 clean. So what do you have? So you, you don't have a title, remember, you see, you don't have a title. The reason, and once you don't have a title, it actually defaults back to your URL, which is not readable, and it doesn't really help your user to know what page they're on. So let's go in here, let's right click, just say ed edit as HTML, and then we're just gonna say title. And within your title, let's just say hello me. Okay. Hello me. Hello me. Yeah, let's go back to hello me. Yes. And what can you see there? It's hello me. And this is actually, you know, it makes it easy for you to actually provide a very, very clear description of what your web page is, is all about. And also within your body, you can now start coming up with um, certain um, elements that you want your, you know, your your end users to see. So in this case, you might want to say, oh, I want to have some sort of elements. And by the way, I'm not going to, you know, be, be teaching you all these different elements. I think that will be your assignment to be able to learn as much element as you can learn that you can use within the body and you know the different elements that you can use within the head i'll give uh, that is your assignment but i'm just want i just want to say hello me so you can see what the 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 body looks like when i do that so as you can see this is it it is actually it and you might be wondering like i just changed everything through the browser and it's like no but this is just you know um chrome it help it enables you to be able to interact with the web page so if i refresh this it's gonna bring back all the you know all the stuff so in cases where you're doing your development work in the as a software as a web developer there are cases where you want to come in here and take out some elements and see what it does in terms of the representation and, and the user experience and i would also want to just show us how you can create your first um, your own first web page okay so let's just right click let's create a folder let's call this um, web page yeah and then we go in there we create our first web page we call it uh, index and by the way index is actually the default page um, for for any website but some would actually change the settings and say no don't use index as the default um, you know default page but in most website index is the, is the default page i'm changing this from dot txt to dot html so that our browser can interpret the instructions we're gonna you know write within it so i'm gonna click on enter and then just click on yes because we know that it's gonna be use it's gonna be a usable because the HTML is a valid extension. So you say yes. So for those of you who might not see this extension, click on view and then check the checkbox right in front of file name extensions. Once you do that, you should be able to see the the file extension and then you should be able to rename it to .html like I just did. Once you do that, open this with your text tool that you've got on your computer. In my case, I've got Notepad++. This is a software I've been using for years and it's really, really good. I will recommend you, you download this because this allows you to, you know, to, to keep your, your note, Notepad files, you know, in one place. You can have multiple Notepad files here, which is really, you know, I really love this. And for us to, to begin with our web page, we just have to start with the HTML tag. 
this is the opening tag this is what it looks like you can see it has a angular bracket and then the HTML, the word HTML and then uh, another angular bracket and then this is actually the closing tag pay attention it is different you see here this doesn't have the slash this slash tells you that this actual this is how you close it you open it you close it always remember so we have we have another type of um, tag which is called called the self closing tag though um, that tag actually looks something like this so it means that it's closed this way but as you as you go along you know like getting yourself you know um into writing html um, code you will be able to start you know getting to know all these different types of tags but for this um, um you know for this video we're just going to focus on just the basics so now within the a html um, tag we need to have a, we need a head like i mentioned earlier and then within the head just remember don't forget always close your tags tie to and then tie to right and then you can call this my web page right and then you have a section which is your body and then within you have to close your body as well and then if if i save this and then i try to you know run this you don't see anything but you still see my web page because you've already given that page a title so the next thing you want to do is you want to give it some you know some text here for people to see you know for me for the users to see and i would actually give you this one because this is the one i you know the start of my journey so this is the one i used which was really you know it really this is what made me to you know to start be getting getting so much involved in programming because when i actually used this tag and i saw what it gave me on the browser i was like wow this is amazing you know and i'm gonna show you that right now so if i refresh this what do you see you see the marquee <laughs> and this is quite interesting because you know when i first played with this tag it just there was the, there was this light bulb that just went on in my head and i was like wow because if you if you if you can remember um from the news you know the news programs they've got these things on the bottom where it's just scrolling under giving you some sort of information or updates and to me i feel like it's quite in, you know it's quite amazing for me to be able to create such an amazing thing so um this is just a basic you know the basic um web page so there you have it i hope you enjoy this video and i hope you you know it, it adds value to you just don't forget to subscribe like comment tell me what you want me to you know to improve on I would really appreciate that and I hope to see you in the next video. Cheers.